Okay, so we're going to take a look at uh, Google Sheets, and we have a, a sample data uh, that's been pulled from the World Health Organization. So this is kind of how data often comes in. You'll notice that we've got holes in the data. We have uh, columns of data that don't really tell us anything. Um, uh, you know, they're useful for whatever the source of the data was, but they aren't useful for our purposes. We have columns with missing numbers. Uh, and we also have kind of an odd format up here at the top, which makes sense for the system it's coming out of, but not necessarily for how we need to use it. Okay, so the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to kind of clean up this data to get it to a point where we can start to do some stuff with it. Okay, so the first thing is that this top uh, top two sections have to go, so notice that Sorry, the top three rows have to go, so notice that I, um, you'll notice that when I take my uh, cursor, when it's an arrow right here, and I click, and I'm going to uh, keep the mouse button to press and then uh, scroll down, or not scroll down, but just drag down and then release, that's going to highlight rows, right? So one, the rows one, two, and three are now highlighted. I can hit delete, I can right click delete, or I can edit cut, okay? So right click. Oh, oh, sorry, not delete, cut. Yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> so I'm just going to go to actually edit and, uh, and delete rows one through three. That's the best way to do it. Okay, so we're going to go to edit, delete rows one through three. Okay, so now in general, what you want to have is you want to have your column headings in row one. Okay, so that's going to be the most useful way for you to work with this data, okay? Now in this particular sheet, I'm going to go ahead and just delete rows or columns C and D, okay? Notice that when I go down that there's just nothing useful in those columns for me, okay? You know, it tells me that it's average precipitation death per year, um, but that's not very helpful. So we're going to go right click. Oh, that's interesting. It doesn't have a delete there. So we're going to go edit. And we're going to delete column C and D. Okay. So now we have country code and we have a number of years, right? Okay, now a lot of these years are blank. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down control as I click. Okay, so notice I'm holding down, look, if I don't have the control key up, look, I can only select uh, individual rows, or if I click and drag, I can select rows that are, or sorry, I click, I can select individual columns. But if I just click, I can only select one column at a time. It would be a lot of deleting, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold down the control key, and that lets me select individual but multiple uh, columns that are not right next to each other. And the same thing is true for rows. In fact, this is the Windows standard. It works, works almost everywhere, uh, where you want to select multiple things uh, that aren't right next to each other. Okay, now you have to kind of be careful here because... It might happen to me. If you misclick at all, okay, that means you click into the clickable area there, <laughs> then it's going to unselect everything. So you have to make sure that if you're doing this process, you keep the control key held down uh, as you collect the things that you want to select. Okay, and you're careful when you go down not to click into the selectable area. Okay. Okay, so I have all the columns selected that don't have anything in them. I'm going to go edit, and I'm going to click delete selected columns. Okay, so now it's starting to look a little bit better, uh, and we kind of have everything boiled down to just columns that have data in them. Obviously, this data looks a little suspicious. For example, a lot of these values are identical, uh, which, which you know, right off the bat says that they're probably not accurate, right? Um, which is kind of odd for annual rainfall. So, in some cases we have blanks, and in some cases we have a lot of um, of identical data. Uh, a good thing to do in this case of these uh, these this data about um, Uh, 
this uh, any kind of worldwide data is to look at kind of more developed countries and see if the data is good for them. Uh, if not, then well, you know, it is what it is. So, <laughs> okay. So in our case, we're gonna we're gonna get this boiled down to just one column. Okay, so that's our goal here. So we're gonna we're gonna get this boiled down to just one column. In this case, we're gonna use 2012. Um, okay. So we're gonna actually use two spreadsheets uh, for what we're gonna be doing here. So we're gonna, um, this is our sample data annual rainfall, and then we have sample data life expectancy, right? Okay, and for this one, we also have a good column 2012, okay? So we're actually gonna relate those two things. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and process this one in the same manner. Okay, so we have the, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, delete the top three uh, um, rows. So edit, delete rows one through three. Okay, we're going to choose columns C and D. We're going to delete those. Delete columns C and D. And now in this case, I know that by looking at the other data, um, so, so there's really nothing interesting for us to look at because all it's obvious that this data has been... Um, it's just not accurate, right? There's no possible way that <laughs> that rainfall is always identical in these countries. Um, so, okay, so we're just gonna take a look at, um, at data from 2012, okay? So we want all other columns here to be gone, okay? So this is just part of us cleaning up our data. values we just wanted to delete columns there we go okay so we have 2012 and we have 2015 data oh, edit and delete columns d through f okay so now we have all the country data here and we look down and there are two 249 lines here and in our um, annual rainfall data, there are, guess what, 249 lines, so we are in good shape. Let's go ahead and delete everything but, um, but the 2012 column. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and, uh, we're actually going to, uh, to um, to make a copy of this, we're gonna go file, make a copy. Okay, we're gonna go sample data, annual rainfall versus life expectancy, and okay. Okay, so we have our second data sheet there. And we're just gonna go ahead and copy in our column C here. Uh, so we're back on the life expectancy. Um, uh, so we made our, our new, uh, we made our new uh, spreadsheet. And we're gonna go ahead and copy over our columns. So we're gonna take column C here. We're go, gonna go edit, copy. Oops, let's forget this. Control C, okay, and we're gonna make a new, so we're gonna go to column C, we're gonna put insert column right, okay, and then we're gonna paste in. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and change the label. Okay, so this is uh, rainfall, and this is life expect Okay. Just put life there, probably. Oh, 
Mobile game. There it is. Okay, so um, so that is our example of just cleaning up data inside of um, inside of Google Sheets.